Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about improvising on the A section of A Night in Tunisia. I'm not going to go into an enormous amount of detail because Dan Hyam, uh, the brilliant trombonist in the Niger Ambassadors, talks about this in his segment of the uh, educational video that runs in parallel to our concert. So he talks about these kind of parallel modes of E-flat Nixolydian and D Dorian and how you can weave in between them, alternate between them on this section, which is absolutely right. That's great. But I'm going to... Talk in slightly simpler terms. There's a kind of arguably slightly simpler option, which is not to think in terms of the full chord scales, but to think in terms of the chord tones of each of those chords. And even though that's only four pitches for each chord, that's plenty of material. When the chord changes are moving so fast, and in fact the music itself is progressing with such momentum and such speed, that there's plenty of language in there just in those four notes on each chord. So to go through what those are, our E-flat mixolydian chord tones are obviously going to be E-flat, the tonic, the root. The third, which is the G. The fifth is the B-flat. And our dominant seventh is the D-flat. OK, and that's the first chord of the sequence, followed up by D minor seven, really. So our root is D, of course, our minor third, F, our A is the fifth. And then our dominant seventh is the C natural. So straight away, if we just play those in root position, alternating, Already, there's a lot of material there. So my first chord, E flat dominant seven. And then the D minor seven. Without changing the order of the notes at all, we've already got some plenty of kind of scope for kind of melodic invention there, just by playing around rhythmically and perhaps playing around with the order of those pitches a little bit. from the essential chord tones right at the very end there. But by trying to be rhythmically inventive and playing around with the order of those two parallel uh, chord sets of chord tones, hopefully I was able to create an improvisation that was uh, belied the, uh, the, the number of pitches that I was actually using. <laughs> ¶¶